Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we got a Patreon request from Slouchy Doggy. So it's Deku after the time skip. He's sort of standing on top of that building. Um, you know, looking at an explosion or something. It's, uh, yeah, it's interesting what's happening in the My Hero Academia manga. So I won't say anything, but for people who are just watching the anime, it's pretty cool. So. I'm on a landscape orientation page, use a pencil and hit pause if I go too fast. So we got like half body, right? I couldn't fit in the whole body, it's just things would be like way too small, no one would be able to see what's going on. So I'm focusing on half of his body. Um, and you can't really see most facial features, you can just see kind of a bit of his eye, mostly hair. So we'll do our best. Let's see, where's that other color one gone? Right now, I'm messing with images here. Okay, right. Okay, let's go. Right, so center point of my page about here, up over to the left a little bit. We're gonna start with his nose. So center point, up over to the left. Um, curve line out, like so. And then we go down, diagonal. So we got like letter L sort of thing going on, or an arrow sort of pointing that way. And then his mouth sort of curves down like so. Now you can't actually see a mouth. Basically it's just drawn in like that, right? So it's sort of left up to the viewer's imagination where his mouth line actually is. So. So then we go across, so the bottom of his chin here, right? He's got like a face mask, so it goes like diagonal that way. And then it comes sort of down and around the front, right? It's still the same face mask that he has, you know, in standard sort of like so. And then we go back this way and down to there. So his ear is just above this. So we'll go curve it around. Up like so, we're going above his nose now. Just to keep things sort of in proportion. Right, and then there's a bit of a hair spike there. And then bones and ligaments sort of lines inside, right? So. Like so. Right, so the rest of his head is basically just hair, okay? So we've got hairline spikes. Come on around, going up around his nose. So this is like his fringe. So it goes up around like so. Right there. So, and then just in around this area, we can see some of his eye, right? So just like his bottom sort of eyelid sort of comes across here, okay? You can't really see a pupil or anything. Like, I wonder if you should, but if you wanted to add an eye, you could, like a pupil, but you can't actually see one in the picture. And then, like so. Well, oh, it kind of looks like an eye, the way the hair is covering it. I suppose that's why the artist did it that way. Okay, so that's basically his head, right? His face, should I say. And then the rest of the hair spikes then come out, sort of blown in the wind. Real big, like you can do this kind of any way you want. Um, you know, it's just spiking, messy, his hair looks a bit longer than I've seen on Deku, but going back this way. And it's going to go all the way back and down into here. 
his hood, basically. Like so. And then, so his hood just comes down diagonal this way. And then the back of his mask is like here. And some more hair spikes just there, right? So Deku's hair wouldn't be Deku's hair without sort of bits of flecks of green, right? So you gotta just add, so all in here is gonna be green when I color, okay? It's just if you don't, you know, it's not really Deku without those green specks. So like in around here is black and then in these spaces that I'm doing, it's sort of green color, okay? Okay, so in where I'm putting dots, this is all black, right? And the white spaces will be green when I'm finished. Okay, so that's all dark black and then green inside. Right, so. So he's got a big scarf on and he's sort of holding it with his hand, right? So it comes out the front here first and then it comes back in that way and there's like all fold lines right and this comes down the front and then up around this way i'm gonna bring it out like so down around the back here so this is like his hood, it's blowing in the wind. All right, so we'll finish the hood anyway. So it's just like, it's all sort of tattered and ripped and torn and stuff. It's the hood slash mask that he wears, you know, that rabbit style sort of thing that we never really saw him wear in the first sort of seasons. He's wearing it in this anyway. Another section here. Which comes down like so. Okay. And then there's like, you know, sort of folds and hatching and, but I won't do all of that. There's like dirt on it and stuff. But he looks really tattered and 
stuff like that. So then there's a scarf as well coming down from there. So like, like here. And it's got two buttons on it. Like that, right? And then four lines. Like so. Hatching lines, scratch lines. Do 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 do. Like so. And then the front of the scarf. Up and around his shoulder. Again, four lines here. Like that. So, this is quite a detailed drawing now. So, really hit pause a lot. Use that pause button. Help yourself out. Tattered scarf lines with hatching, lots of hatching. Yeah, just like jaggedy sort of ripped ends on it. So, so let me have his shoulder right here, okay? So it just like comes around, and this is like ripped and torn on the bottom as well. So it curves around here. This ripped and torn all coming down. Like that, and then his arm down here so we can't so he should have a tricep right you can't see it because of there's like there's shadow but I'll add a tricep then his arm comes down that way so something like that and then there's like all bandage Coming across, right? Like so. Then the front of his body here, front of his chest, sticks out. And it kind of goes out like this. And there's a belt here, I think. So it comes down and then goes back towards his arm that way. Or it's like a utility belt or something. It has a, all lines on it there. Right. So, and then his back and his backpack, right? So, like there's a strap going over that shoulder back into here and it goes back like diagonally into there and there's like a shadow in here and this has an extra line on it and then there's a strap like in here curves around 
more lines there. The strap comes down the front as well. And there's like a buckle. There's a buckle there. Down like so. Comes across and then we bring that up. And then down. There. And then that buckle goes up. And then more sort of area inside. There, right, and then his back and his backpack. So he's holding a big, big old backpack, and that comes down. His back comes down this way. There's another strap here. Okay, and that belt comes out. But more sort of dots and scratches and. Stuff on it here. Like so. Alright, and he's got like a big black cross on his shoulder. Comes off like so. Down to there. Like that. And then more black sort of areas here so these are all black inside or dark green depending you know i think they are supposed to be black anyway but and this goes that way and then diagonal and then more black sort of areas in there right and then the rest of that backpack so it comes down top of it sort of a square here it goes back up like so a little hatching in back here and then the top of it goes around up. I know I'm going pretty fast now it's just in order for this video not to be hella long I'll just draw it in and you can pause whenever you need to so the backpack goes all the way down off my page there and just the couple of lines here and is that backpack and then he's got like another bag area there Lots of detail in this backpack. <laughs> I won't draw it all, but you know. And then like an extra line or something going down there. Hatching. Lines on that strap. And like another pouch on the back here. sort of ripped and torn scarf like so basically that's basically the backpack anyway there's all scratch marks and stuff on the scarf okay so just his hand then right so it's holding on to his scarf at the front so we can see knuckle Comes out here, down, another knuckle out, down, that way. And then the back of his hand will come down here. So it's a big glove, right? And then another finger just there. So we can see three fingers, basically, like that. And then the glove sort of bumps out here. Another bump. It's his Air Force glove, so there's like a lot of sort of bumps and stuff on it. 
and then this comes up like so. And then another line coming down, like the stitching, you know, the seam of the glove comes down that way. Line for his hand in there, there, and like stretch lines for that glove. Like some hatching inside here. And then, so the glove, does the glove touch his chest? No, not quite. The glove actually comes up here. And the line's just for the side of his sort of pinky there. And then black thick lines on the bottom. So, and then his arm comes out this way, down, elbow, goes back in, up to his wrist, and then maybe like some lines you, you should see inside here, and lines coming around, just there again for straps for his arm like so maybe like dark shadow or something in here right um Am I missing anything? I think that's everything. Mm. There's like, um, just like there's all um, stuff sort of in the air, like cherry blossom leaves or something, you know, just kind of floating away. But there you go. That's it. How to draw Deku after the time skip. Hope it was helpful, guys. Hope it was helpful, Slouchy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.